What's up collectors, Benny here back with another video. And today I have three packages to open up. Two of them are comic books and one of them is a mystery surprise. First off, as always, thank you for tuning into the channel. I hope that you are having an awesome day today so far. If you haven't been here before, I make content about my journey collecting comic books, video games, cards, and other collectibles. And like you heard in the intro today, I have three packages to open up. I know exactly what two of them are. The third one, however, is a mystery package that was sent to me by one of my friends. So I have no idea what's in that one. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video to see that. All right, now this first box is from the homie Neodoc Comic, and I actually won this from one of his whatnot auctions. Basically, the way that his show works is that he has a wall of slabs. Each of the slabs is a different category. Each category has 10 books, and if you win one of the books, you're entered into a drawing to win that slab. So I made a few bids on some Spider-Man books. I ended up winning one for 20 bucks, and the book that I won was The Amazing Spider-Man issue 22. This is one of the Battle Lines Virgin variants, and this one has Spider-Punk on the cover. It's a really clean book, and there's a lot of hype around the Spider-Verse currently. I checked this one out, and it looks like it sells for about 20 bucks on eBay, so we definitely got our money's worth on this one. So since I won that book, it automatically put me into a drawing to win the Spider-Man slab. I had a 1 in 10 chance, and it must have been my lucky day because I won Spider-Man issue number 1 in a 9.8. This is a classic Spider-Man cover done by Todd McFarlane. This is the silver polybag version, and this is an awesome book. There are a few different versions of this, and I think the only one that I don't have is the gold version. I think that's the only one I'm missing. I think I might have to get it now in a 9.8, but this book has also been cover swiped a ton. Just a totally classic cover. Next up, this package is from another good friend of mine, Newsstand Junkie, and he was able to pick up a book for me that I originally missed when it dropped at my LCS, so this one is Batman issue 125. This is an awesome book, and if you watch my new comic book day series, you know that I was not able to grab this a few weeks ago. I did get a few variants for this book, but cover A, my LCS didn't have, so I missed out on that one. This is the first appearance of Failsafe, and he was actually able to get me two copies. And the book that I'm most excited about that came from Newsy is Batman 125, The One in 50. I'm not normally a foil cover guy, but there's just something about this one that I absolutely love. This is the gold foil jock variant, and I'm a big fan of his artwork. I don't know, there's just something about this one. I like the way it looks in the light. I like Batman's eyes. Just everything about this one, I absolutely dig. Now is the time to open package number three. This is the mystery package, the one sent from one of my amazing friends, Flossy. Now I have no idea what this is, but I do know he has an amazing collection, so it could be anything. The only thing that I know is he told me that I think this will bring you more joy than it is currently bringing me. Now I do think that it's not a comic because the box is just too small, but maybe it's a video game, maybe it's a retro game. I have no idea, but let's open it up and take a look. Yo, dude, Flossy. This is sick. All right. We have Retro He Man and Skeletor. Yo, this is absolutely sick. This is not what I thought it was going to be. This is so sick. All right, so let's open these little sandwich bags and see what we got. All right, so let's take a closer look at He-Man here. He's in really good shape. Yeah, you can see right there, 2020 Mattel. He's even got the sword and the shield. Definitely sick, though. For anyone that doesn't know, I am a big Motu fan, so Flossie, thank you for these. I appreciate it. And then our guy Skeletor, looking menacing. We have the staff and the sword. Just an awesome, awesome pickup. These guys are awesome. I'm gonna have to find a way to display them. And also I'm happy that they're already out of the box so I don't have to do the inbox, out of box debate. Now I have my Skeletor inbox and I have one out of box. So Flossy, thank you for these, man. I really do appreciate it. So those are all the pickups that I had to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and drop me a like. Also, comment down below and let me know what your favorite pickup was. And if you're into comic books, video games, cards, and other collectibles, 
consider subscribing to the channel to help grow our collector community and so I can keep sharing with you some more awesome pickups. But until next time, may the comic gods bless your back issue bins, may all your pulls be fire, and I will see you in the next video.